Divisa Now, the number one place for news and politics. Welcome to Divisa Now. I'm your host, Ed Edwanigan. Today, we'll be talking about the newest elections, as well as the various campaign speeches that they are currently made. I'll be focusing on the presidential elections in this episode, because so far, only two people have really announced their senatorial candidacy, and the House, uh, there isn't much to talk about the House elections so far. Um, the Senate elections, only... Um, Ojean for Watson and Debug for West Roseburg have announced uh, their candidacy, but I do believe that other people will be soon be announcing their candidacy throughout the country. But let us see how that goes. Uh, and we'll hopefully talk about that more in the next couple of episodes into the future. Now, so far, only two people have really made campaign media. Uh, Cal Ainsworth of the Fox Sound Party and Jeb of Action Divisor. Um, Cal Ainsworth is running with Jimmy, and Jeb, I am unfamiliar with who he is actually running with. I have yet, I'm not sure who that is. I will try and find out for, for the next episode. And Jeb announced his candidacy and also made a speech attacking Fox Sound, but Cal Ainsworth has already announced his candidacy and, and today made a speech kind of saying why you should vote for him and doing some attacks on the other people. Not so much Jeb, mainly focusing on the communists with a bit on Neo. Um, let us briefly talk about Jeb's announcement. Um, and it's largely bigger vision stuff. Um, where he wants to go. It's of a broad vision of a better visa. Not really stating what he's actually going to do while in office. He's talking about a movement to unite the fair and honest man of the visa and so on. But he's not actually stating any policies like Cal did in his announcement speech or in his speech today. And he didn't even mention all that much stuff in his speech today. Though he should do so, uh, hopefully tomorrow, uh, and in his further speeches throughout the country. Did briefly describe what he wants. I will quote him with say, "Total victory today will be remembered. Discovering of the good people of Dresden shall be remembered." Just going to briefly talk and quote about him himself, and he basically says, "A movement to unite the fair and honest men of the visa. A movement to unite the worker and the labor." To unite the man whose forefathers built this brand and the man who now reap with the, what their own chest is so, uh, so I mean, and the man who rested over the same nation to their children and protect this land of its generation, beauty for generations to come. That's kind of the fear of his speech, and that's his candidacy, and it's very big vision. Not really good on big on the specifics, more big on the vague general vision. Cow's speech today was mainly uh, attacking and saying why he's better than them. Uh, he nicknamed Neo Halfback Neo and called SM Farmer Scared SM and called Jeb. Sorry, he called SM Envious SM and called Jeb Scared SM, Unafraid of Change. Sorry, Afraid, Terrified of Change. Uh, um, while he called the Communists, in his own words, for all across except the one that is most important and most more of all, the War of War. Um, and Cal kind of talked about his various policy positions compared to the others, and made a big thing about how none of them actually have any set policy goals or things that they actually want to do, um, and said that Neo was the closest with his Bismarck in healthcare system, but didn't really have that much there at all. But Cal, Cal really attacks him for saying it, that he is like this, that the scourge of liberalism and calling Angel for liberal is the dagger that kills tradition, that kills order, that kills religion, the very progress that destroys the na- national identity of a nation and replaces it with a soulless consumption state devoid of any national character or integrity. And Cal poorly responded to that with that he doesn't actually want any of that thing because he's a conservative. Um, and I think Cal can point out his policies that will not deliver that. He actually has specific things which he wants to uh, achieve, and he's, in his manifesto, he lists them out in great detail. At least further detail. Uh, he also calls uh, Mr. Ainsworth that he wants... the an unregulated capitalist machine that serves only to exploit the workers of the nation and give to them the more mere scrubbles as they profit massively. And he said that he wants a corporate state. Um, and Carol can probably respond to that quite easily, but he hasn't yet made a speech after this one, where, like, in his own manifesto, he wants to have corporate nation pay the highest taxation among all types of businesses. Defining small, medium, and large businesses and having that large businesses should pay the most. So I think Cal can probably count on one of these attacks against him quite easily. Um, 
and also do further attacks against Jeb. And I think he can po attack Action Visa quite effectively into the heart by pointing out a thing um, in the recent uh, fascist faces, the free faces, this is whatever you call it, um, the National Fascist People of Divisa, um, in which they're basically to say they want a corporate state. Um, indeed, to quote the po uh, paper itself, instead, the roof revolutionary new idea, fascism wishes to introduce the concept of organized and responsible market under this corporate system of workers. They want corporations, the government steered by uh, the money of corporations, but also by the vast manpower and will of workers. So they want corporations. They are getting corporations into their own network, while at the same time calling cow too corporatist, but then saying at the same time that the capitalists aren't corporation enough. Indeed, in their own media, in the same newspaper, they have a comic in which there's a, a fat man with big business on it, um, another man with old gang, and these two big rich men with old gang saying, give it to mum, I'll line up the farmer vote in this vote. Well, the farmer is quite poor, um, and I'm unable to do much. And that's kind of like the corrupt alliance, but that kind of describes themselves according to this own newspaper. So I think that uh, Action Divisor and the fascists really are hunting themselves up for some very easy, some really major attacks against them as a party and their foundational beliefs. Um, but we will see if the Neo of Cal of SM actually make a good use of this opportunity. And I think uh, Cal at least will, but I'm not sure about Neo or SM. Neither of them have yet made speeches or any public things. But that is the show for now. I will quickly end this episode by briefly talking about the Rater Stingray Times article, in which it kind of lists out um, the different media outlets and their alignments. So he says that the Stingray Times is neutral, that the Neutral News Network is neutral, the Divisa now is capitalist of question mark, the torch is communist, and the free fascist is fascist. Now, the torch and the free fascists make their alignment very clear, but we haven't really made any political alignments so far. And now, it is owned by Angel of Technology, we are, um, that is our parent company, and Angel of Technology is run by the brother of Cal Ainsworth. So, quite easily, you could make the link that we support the Foxhound Party and their agenda, especially as former owners of the Angel of Technology and its uh, subs subsidiaries, sorry, have all been very libertarian types. I just quickly say that, yes, we do endorse the Foxhound Party for president, and we do believe that a liberal uh, fat free market outline is best for the country. However, we also endorse NEO, and we endorse any system and any people that want a freer, more open society, and will bring about any system that is better for this country and is more free. But we're also willing to take on any criticism, um, any people who are uh, not as pro-free market as anyone else. We're very open, and we try to be as unbiased and neutral in our reporting as possible. So we do, yes, have a bias, but we try to minimize that bias in our reporting as much as possible. But that is all for today. I've been your host, Edward Wendigan. And I'm, uh, and this is Divisa Now.